Okay, so Minecraft has just released its biggest feature for data pack creators. And in this video, I'll show you how to use it and why it is so powerful. The feature I'm talking about are the new macro commands. So macro commands are commands which contain placeholder variables. Whenever you run one of these commands, your placeholder variables will get replaced before the command actually runs. Let's have a look at this example here. All this function does is teleporting me to a set of coordinates. The dollar symbol at the beginning marks the line as a macro line. The dollar x, y and z are macro variables or in other words parameters because in order to set these variables we'll have to call the function with some nbt that sets these values. So if I run it and define all of them, just like this, I get teleported to the set coordinates. Here's another example. I've created a create sort function. It will first output the name of the sort using the terror command. And also notice how I just put the parameter inside the string here. And then give me a sort with that name and even a customized damage value. So let's try that out. I'll call it emerald sort. And it does 15 damage, why not? Okay, great, it worked. And as you can see, it didn't put in the quotation marks of the string, even though we placed our parameter directly inside of another string. So what macros do is literally just replacing parts of the command with some text. The data type doesn't really matter here. Though at this point, you might wonder, I mean, what's the use if we have to call the function with a set of fixed parameters? I mean, we could simply write these parameters in the function directly. We could simply put in all these values in the function and it would be the same, right? Yes and no, because we can use a data storage to call our function. Let's get back to our teleport example. Now, this time, I'll call the function with a score. In order to do that, I wrote a simple function that writes all our scores inside a data storage and then executes our function. Just like this. Let's quickly give us a score for each of those values. And let's run our function. And as you can see, we got teleported to the correct coordinates again and everything worked. So you can use scores for literally everything now. Okay, one last example. I've created a function that creates a cube by a size parameter. So if I input one, it's just one single block and I can even make it bigger and bigger. But that's not actually the coolest part about it. Let's grab another block and run the function again. And suddenly all these blocks are yellow wool. We can go even more crazy and put this whole function call inside our main function to execute it 20 times a second. And watch this, we can view the cube in all these different colors now. Now how I did this is pretty simple. Uh, first we define our coordinates where we want the cube to start. And we do that using a fake player for which you should normally choose a name with symbols in it because no real player can be named question mark X for example. And uh, next we increase the score by our size variable. Lastly, we write all these scores into a data storage again. And additionally, I also write the selected item ID of our current player inside a value in our data storage, which I called simply block. Once everything is set up, our function calls a macro function with all our parameters. And the macro function I'm talking about looks like this. There isn't much to say here. I first clear the entire area and then fill it with the coordinates and the block we set. And that's pretty much the whole magic about it. Not gonna lie guys, I literally can't wait to see what people do with macro commands. I mean, there's so many new possibilities now and uh, I'm excited to see how the command scene will change. Anyways, I hope you learned something and I could show you why macro commands are such a big thing. And if you liked it, smash that like button and subscribe to not miss out on future content. And if there's any questions left unanswered, just leave them in the comment section down below and I'm happy to help. Have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!